uh, the contribution on the statement sought by my uh, brother here, the senator for Turkana County, and this is on the rural electrification, REREC. Uh, my, he has sought a statement uh, from REREC asking them to activate electrification programs, rural electrification programs in Turkana. Madam Speaker, people don't think of Turkana as a great potential, as having a great potential for development. And when you bring electricity, Madam, this is a very big trigger for development in Turkana. Turkana is a very, very rich country. When you go there, some people just look at the heat. But Madam Speaker, apart from the heat, there is a lot of wealth underground. There is wealth of oil. There is wealth of water. There is a whole lake uh, underground in Turkana, Madam Speaker. And I hope that this statement which is seeking for the rural electrification, they used to be much more active than the Kenya power themselves. But uh, I want them to wake up and uh, uh, impress us by taking steps to activate the REREC. This, this is now a new one called rural electrification and REREC. They should take up steps to activate the electrification in Trukana. Madam Speaker, electrification is such an important uh, venture that in my county, Mount County, Siaya, I was perplexed, Madam Speaker, yesterday when I went to the rural area and I found a whole industry for uh, milling of rice which has been put up by the, by the county is not able to be commissioned, Madam Speaker, just because of upgrading electricity to three phase. Um, because without electricity, Madam, actually there is no development, there is no meaningful development. So, Madam Speaker, I, didn't, I, I don't want to take a lot of time. I just, I've just stood up to support the statement sought by my brother, uh, uh, Senator for Turkana on Rebek and uh, Madam Speaker, I hope that steps will be taken to uh, activate these activities in Turkana County. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Senator. Senator Karungo Paul. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. I want to support the statement by Senator Roba about uh, health issues and especially in our hospitals in the county of Nairobi, not forgetting my home county, that is Campbell County, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, health is the most uh, basic yet very fundamental and important thing a human being would require to have the best of, Madam Speaker. And sometimes I ask myself, you know, the drafters of the Constitution, whether they did the right thing to surrender these hospitals to the governors, Madam Speaker. Because sometimes I ask myself, if they could not trust the governors with our education, because you see the governors, they don't have, a, it's not a function of a county government when it comes to primary, high school, or even universities. They could trust the governors with our health. Uh, Madam Speaker. And that is something that we need to rethink because health, first of all, is universal and health is one of the most important things that we need to look into as a country. And I want to thank the Committee on Health, Madam Speaker, because we have taken some statements to them. They have embarked on visiting uh, counties to see uh, what the, the state of the hospitals in various counties, Madam Speaker. I know I have a statement with the Health Committee on the issue of uh, health insurance for the employees of Campbell County Government. And they were supposed to visit Campbell County last week, but the committee uh, postponed that due to reasons that I understand very well. <clears throat> so, Madam Speaker, I believe standing committees are the committees that are going to assist uh, this Senate to do its oversight mandate because as I always say 
the committee CPIC and CIPA committees are mere morticians, Madam Speaker, because they only check what the Auditor General has said. If the Auditor General says this county had no fault at all, we will do nothing as those committees, Madam Speaker. But if we take our job seriously as a standing committee, and we visit our counties as the other committees have been visiting different counties, we are going to find that county governors and county governments are not doing what they are supposed to do, and we rectify and we take the necessary precaution. Instead of waiting for them to break the law, then we wait for the Auditor General, then the Auditor General to do a report to CPIC and CPAC, and then we'll be looking at these reports a year later, two years later. Like now, we are looking into the issues that the previous governors, the crime or the mistakes the previous governors were, were, had committed, they're being now answered by this committee, uh, by, by the current governors, Madam Speaker. As I conclude, Madam Speaker, and I'm saying that because I know these committees, Health Committee, Agriculture Committee, uh, and other committees, Madam Speaker, without mentioning uh, my committee, which is Roads and uh, Transportation, if we are keen on protecting devolution, let's visit the counties. Next week, let's have the Environment Committee in Kiambu to check out why Kiambu is going to miss on Flocka, the money for climate change, about over 110 million, uh, Madam Speaker, just because, Madam Speaker, the governor there is refusing to comply. Madam Speaker, let's have the Agriculture Committee to go to Kiambu County and check the distri distribution of fertilizer, the chicks, and everything, Madam Speaker. Let's have the Energy Committee visit Kiambu, Madam Speaker, to check why the county government has refused the installation of street lights, Madam Speaker. Let's have the Education Committee, Madam Speaker, visit Kiambu and check how many ECDs that have been built in that county, Madam Speaker, because I believe we're being lied to, Madam Speaker. Let's have the Finance Committee of this Senate visit Kiambu, Madam Speaker, and other counties to find out why the county government has refused to pay pending bills worth 5.7 billion. 